Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. When we last left off, we had managed to pretty much complete the third floor of the game, and we found the hour hand, as long with the valve handle, which I believe we may have already used up. Anyway, let's go and stick the hour hand here. We need it in the nine o'clock position. That didn't sound good, did it? That didn't sound good at all. Well. Magically now. The H door is slightly ajar. And the H door obviously stands for hourglass. Or hourglass? Our hand door. So. Let's have a little look. We are on the second floor. Okay. Let's keep our wits about us. You never know where there's going to be a sneaky little git ready to jump out at us at any moment. Collect some bullets. We do like bullets, you know. As we've said before, bullets make us happy. This is a weird room as well. Like when I first played this game, this room would drop the frame rate through the floor. And in fact, even now it's dropping us under a hundred FPS. Hmm, we have no key for this door. There is a seesaw here. Curious. Okay. Oh, well, I'm sure we're gonna find something to stick on that seesaw a little bit later on anyway. So, let's try and think about this. Hmm. So we need to get the key from there. We can go through. Okay, well, let's not overlook the elephant in the room for too long. Let's have a little smash through here and see what we can find. Well, this place is uh, looking worse. Lovely. A toilet full of material. Yeah, that can't be pleasant, James. Seriously. Oh, get your hand right in there. Right around the U-bend. And that. Oh, look at his hands. Oh, lovely. God, better than you than me, brother. So, we have the minute hand. Okay. And where does this... Oh. This place looks like it's taken a turn for the worst, doesn't it? We have a pigeon figurine. We'll take that. Sounds like... S oh! Hello. You know what? Not even going to chance it. Rather spend the two bullets, to be fair. Uh, really, dude? Really? That hit me here. I'm calling severe bullshit on that one. Okay. Oh, that's all locked up now. This place's corruption is getting worse. Dude, we're nearly dropping down to 60 FPS, man. What the hell? That's actually crazy. Um, okay. So. Let's get out of here. We'll be back in there. Soon enough. So we can go down to two. Let's give that one a look. There's another room here that we can bust in through. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. There we go. Hmm. Where is this? Something's making some noise, scratching around in here. Aha! Don't be shy. Come on. I've seen you. 
Oh, there's two of you. You know what? That's fine. We'll spend some bullets. Spend some bullets to save some Medicare. Okay. As you can see as well, that sort of illustrates just how powerful the handgun is in this game. It is a good weapon. Ooh. It's a really decent, solid weapon. And I suppose, to be fair, you could say it was in the original too. Um, yeah, it's not like a really weak pop gun. Which is interesting. Ooh. And I like the fact that they did that as well. Hello. What do we have here? A wooden swan head. Well. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Would seem to be rude to leave it there. So, we've got a wooden swan head. Let's go and check out... 209, I guess. This is the next on the agenda. Let's see if we can get in there anyway. Should be able to. Aha, we can. Let's grab the bullets first, though. Two bullets. Come on, game. Come on. Stop teasing me. Hello? Well, that was interesting. Well, I guess we're not going to worry too much about that whispering. That one's locked. Oh. Oh. It's looking a little bit better. Have those. Another two bullets. Two bullets. Ooh, that doesn't look great. Looks like there was a corpse in there for a little while. Unfortunate. Oh. Okay. There we are. Ooh. That doesn't look nice. That doesn't look nice at all. I thought that was actually an enemy then. Well, that looks like something from Still Wakes the Deep. Of course. Come on, them. Let's be having you. I can hear you. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. Potentially could have just snuck past him, I suppose, but, you know, I really don't want to get injured. So, okay, second floor. Looks like we've just about finished this. We should have everything we need to complete the seesaw. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at the corruption here now. Oh, okay. Okay. So, let's combine these two items. I mean, that's sort of pretty, I suppose. Now, let's put you there. And we need you. Right, let's see if we can't balance these things a little bit. I think it goes there. Yep, and it was in the middle somewhere. And that gives us, look at that, a winged key. How curious. A key found inside the broken seesaw. Indeed. Okay, then. Let's go back. Let's see if we can go back. Wasn't it through this way? It was, wasn't it? Let's go back and... How can we not? How do we go back? Um, ah, was it through here? Oh, right, yeah, the wing key. There we are. Oh, would you look at that? Wow, this is just keeps getting better, doesn't it? 
Okay, down we go. I guess that is our only. Oh, the frame rate. What is. Oh, God. It doesn't feel good at all. Alright, whatever. And there we have another glimmer. The TV. Although, that isn't actually the TV, I don't think. That looks like... I think that's the old coin um, puzzle box, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's grab some bullets. What else we got? Oh, you beauty. Can never have too many of these health drinks. And I am so down to collect every one we can find. Um, now, decisions, decisions. We're now on the bottom floor. Okay. So let's go back up this way. So room 110, that's the one we were just in. Is there, oh, there's no way of actually opening that door, I don't think. Unless there is actually a keyhole on the end. Anything up here? Always check the dead ends. Dead ends sometimes have goodies. Knock, knock. I'm coming in. I hope you're all decent. Okay. I'll take that. It does feel gutting when you just, like, literally pick up two bullets in a pack. It's like, come on, game. Come on. Did I just see screen tearing? Even though we've got a G-Sync monitor and then using VRF or VRR, I should say. Jesus. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I'm James. Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me, you, we're all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Sorry. Did you find the person that you were looking for? I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... She died three years ago. She's dead? Don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. I have to find my mama. Yeah, should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. I... Besides, I'd just slow you down. What, what, what about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. No! I'm sorry! I've been bad! Please don't! She is, um, really, uh, crashing mentally. Okay, so we've got Angela's knife, and we do not want to be looking at that at all. Key of resilience, there we go, that's what we need. Um, so poor Angela, she is obviously, um, suffering pretty bad with something and she is uh, she is getting worse well all we can do now is hope that she finds what she's looking for I think we searched all of this yeah we searched all of this let's get out of here now from what I can remember for whatever reason um, the apartments uh, especially Bl uh, Blue Creek is like the worst performing area in the game um, I don't know why, on my because I've got an ROG Ally X and hello. Ooh, and it performs really badly on that. Like it's just at the cusp of what I would consider to be playable. Like you can put up with it. But it is like going back to you know, Xbox 360 sort of territory and PS3. Okay. Can we not get into 111? Ah, the door's all. Yeah, the door's gone. No worries then. Okay. And there is the S hand door. Okay. So we get some bullets. We like bullets. Let's keep exploring, shall we? Sounds like we have some friends in here. Okay. Don't know how many. Burst the flame. Or bears the flame. sure what that's relevant to but I can't say classical music or piano music is in my wheelhouse of expertise ah lucky here Photo. Nice try, love, honestly. 
I'll give you points for trying. Forever together. And that is photo number five. Okay. Well, this place looks incredibly dilapidated. Now, this place is sort of important. There also, there should be something here, but maybe it's not until later, because we should be able to get another glimmer. Yeah, maybe it's not until later. Now, OGs will know, or may recognize this room. It's where we um, fought Pyramid Head for the first time in the original game. But of course, we don't need to worry about that right now. So, let's head back. And this place, ah, this place is really starting to drop down now. Now there should, should, I say with confidence, be a photo here. But I guess it's a little bit later on. Okay, so let us use the minute hand and we're going to put that where it needs to be and that is going to open up. Where are we? Ah, that's going to open up the moth room, which is actually um, a really cool, interesting part of the game. Let's go have a little peek inside, shall we? So now, this place is not looking super friendly, is it? I've got another hole. Hmm. Okay. So there is a moth with a skull on its back. Noted. Again, not the weirdest thing we've seen today. Certainly not. But another moth with two eyes. So what have we got? We've got a moon. I, skull, hmm, okay, that seems curious, well, let's have a little look through here, see what we can find. Good to know. Well, at least there's plenty of cloth and stuff around here for the moths to be eating. Let's shift this out of the way. So now we can see that picture a little bit better. Right. Okay. So it looks like we need numbers. But numbers of what? Well, dear viewer, we need numbers of wings. So, as you can see, we've got moons and we've got eyes. So, we need to count up all the moon wings. 
So we've got four. Actually, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure, actually, if you count those as two. Or if you just count them as one. Let's try it as one. So, let's count all the... the right, so let's say two. And I need to get... One second, I need to get pen and paper. Okay, so doing my maths. Uh, yeah, I was indeed correct. You need to count each individual uh, moth wing. So, for instance, there is four, five, six, and seven moons. No, eight moons total. There are two sk two skulls. So we only need to count the um, actual symbols. It's not the wings. You count the symbols. So there's two skulls. And we don't need to be going through there. So, moons plus eyes. So, how many eyes is there? So, we know there's eight. Eight moons. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, there's five of those. So, it's 8 minus 5, which gives us 3. Um, and then skulls plus eyes. Well, we know there's 5 eyes and there's 2 skulls. So, that's 7. And this puzzle is different on um, the higher and lower difficulties. It's the same thing. It's just a different um, number. So, then we have skulls. Minus eyes, which is going to give us three. Well, there we go. I actually really like that puzzle. But I couldn't remember if it was the wings that we were counting. Oh, we've got another gloopy hole. We do like gloopy holes, to be fair. I think we can all agree. Gloopy holes are sometimes a good time. Or sometimes they're after you've had a good time. Anyway, Silent Hill. I know, James. Up to your bloody shoulder, mate. And that gives us the second hand. And things are changing once again. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go back to our clock. Hmm, okay. Let's continue onwards. Ooh. Not sure if that was like it before. Ah, here we go. Gimme. Gimme. How the time flies. And that is pitch number six. Got ya. So, we're almost up to date with everything. So, let's drop a save. Um, you know what? Let's just stick that down. So, we can see uh, that is essentially giving us the key there and Scott is uh, obviously the second hand and then you've got the other two hands there so the first hand you find is nine the second hand you find is on the two o'clock position and Scott you have to kind of guess but if you read that memo over there it does tell you anyway guys that's all we have time for today apparently um, we run out of time a lot quicker than, that than I thought, actually. So I'm going to save it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, wow, we're going to be taking a little peek through the old uh, 
the old S door down below. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.